Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today we have got a Nick Crowley video and this is Smart Schoolboy 9, an internet rabbit hole. Now I'm going to be honest, I have watched this before. Uh, I've watched this one and uh, the next pro one and there's about three others because for some reason everyone decided to upload a video of this on the same damn day. I don't know what it was, but I felt like about every... Almost every, within the same week, everyone uploaded a video about this. So weird. But, uh, I watched, and I think Nick, I, I'm a big fan of Nick. I've always been a big fan of Nick. I got a whole playlist of his videos. Um, and I wanted to give him, he's the one I wanted to watch go over this. Um... So ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment what you think down below. If you'd like to help the channel out with a donation, you can leave a super thanks or a link to our PayPal. It's in the description. Let's go. Creepy accounts pretending to be kids. I came across a reel randomly, and it's led me down this weird rabbit hole of people using AI or dressing up pretending to go to school. They all seem to have high heels, check images in them. Is this an age play thing or something more sinister? Literally anything helps as I keep trying to look for answers. This post was made to the subreddit r slash Instagram by the user numeruscut792 on April 15th, 2024. It featured screenshots of three bizarre looking Instagram pages they had encountered earlier that day, with OP expressing concern that something truly disturbing was happening with these users. And those in the thread agreed. What the actual fuck? Found all of them and blocked them all. Truth Sticks 11 is seriously creepy to me. I've been trying to find more about them, but can hardly find anything. Very weird account to say the least. The three accounts apparently Uh, and when it comes to, I just want to throw this in for donations. This is a video I am about 99% certain won't get monetized due to the content of it. So anything will help. Uh, just want to throw that in there. Belong to three different children. However, when combing through their posts, the content seems to imply something much more bizarre was afoot. Something truly disturbing. This post would be the start of a story that would eventually be picked up and shared all across the online world, becoming one of the more notorious internet mysteries in recent memory, as these accounts revealed an unending rabbit hole that is still being traversed to this very day. Yeah, because y'all keep doing video, y'all did a video on the same day, I don't know if y'all just sat around and discussed it, but them, Nick Crowley, uh, well, Nick Crowley, Nexpo, Tov, there was but one other I saw that all did a video on this within the same time frame. It's fucking weird. In an ongoing investigation into one of the most depraved oddities ever found on Instagram, this is the emerging story of Smart Schoolboy 9. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope you like when you fly home. School is good. Really good. <laughs> We'll return after these messages. Before we get too far down. Beautiful boy, an account looked after by me, a degree educated mother choosing to stay anonymous. This was the bio of the first account pictured in the Reddit post, an account named TruthSticks11, which was said to be operated by a 12 year old boy and his mother. Back in October of 2021, the duo would make their very first post, kicking things off on a somewhat concerning note, though not for their own page, but instead, another account on the platform. So, that's the account run by a man pretending to be a boy. <laughs> the video was created. I don't like that person's voice. At all. Like, at all. I don't like that person's voice. That is... Oh, that's a creepy voice. Oh, that voice gave me... Oh. Oh, even when I first watched that voice, I just don't like. It doesn't sit well with me. ...created and posted by the mother for the sole purpose of warning others of a specific user who had been posing as a child online when, in actuality, he was a grown man who did this in order to get close to and exploit other children across the platform. 
It's the grim reality of this online world, as predators will do just about anything to get closer to children, and it's a reality often unrealized or even ignored by parents, which makes it almost refreshing that this mother was out here trying to raise awareness. Except. These posts would become the crux of the account early on. They would call out this user and their many accounts again and again, eventually going more in depth about what this person would actually do, claiming that they had a strange perversion to dressing up as a young schoolboy. Does he wish he were a young boy in a school classroom, looking nice and being successful at school? Yes. This theme of calling out online predators would remain consistent throughout the years on Truth Sticks 11. However, after some time, the mother behind the account began to use the page for its initially intended purpose, to share photos of her son. The photos began reasonably normal, and would show this young boy studying at school, accepting awards from their principal, and even school presentations in which their son had attended. Um, hold on, I would like to address something here. Look at this boy here, okay? Hold on, let's go back to the... ...boy studying at school, accepting a... Look at this boy here. Okay? There's a boy here. ...awards from their principal, and even... What the fuck happened here? That is not the same boy. I don't know who this is. This is not... This is a whole different boy. That's... Nope, I don't like the look of him. Nope. ...school presentations in which their son had attended, with the captions often boasting about how... I'm gonna be honest. Um... I, the reason why I love I, I watch this, I need to make sure, first of all, it's fucking appropriate for talk about And I really don't think it actually is, but I I was going to run into some person talking about it at some point. I skipped one video. Uh, I think it was disturbing. Oh, was it? Disturbing things from around the internet, I think. I had to skip because this video, was this topic was on it. And I wanted, if I was going to talk about it, I had to have it be one of these videos. How intelligent the young boy was. Though over time, the photos began to grow stranger. They looked off, almost as if they were AI generated. They and on top of this, they began to appear heavily edited in an almost inexplicable manner with deep red lipstick often being added, which was enunciated by his face being turned pure white. This unsettling trend would continue from here, as with each passing post, the photos grew less authentic and more surreal. Jesus. Until they became straight up disturbed, even sickening. These bizarre edits spilled over past just the images too, as the post began to I don't like anything about these pictures. All of these just no, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Appear as disjointed collages, often showcasing multiple grotesque images and paragraphs about how much this user loved school. And this wasn't the only shift either. At some point, the son behind the account began posting content that allegedly came directly from him saying things like, my really cool mom asked me if I'd like to post, and I said, yes, please. He even shared supposed videos that he had filmed of himself, which were equally as unconvincing as his photos, and somehow even more chilling. The boy even shows off his singing in one of the clips. Though their voice sounds off. The account was overall anomalous and extremely off-putting. And though this content was visually alarming, another aspect made it even more so concerning, as over time, many of the images began to resemble CP, showcasing these fake AI children in explicit positions, with their faces sometimes even being photoshopped onto scantily dressed adult bodies. One thing is blatantly obvious about the Truth Sticks account, the supposed- Thank you for not showing that, Nick Crowley. I do not need to show, I do not want to have to skip that. 
supposed child behind it is not real. No. Even in the more passable photos at the very beginning, there is evidence to suggest that these were likely AI That's as well. And based on the disturbed, borderline illegal content that this page featured, it seemed more than likely that whoever was behind this page was not an innocent mother concerned for the welfare of other children, but instead, a predatory individual themselves. And this wasn't their only account. The second page featured on the Reddit post belonged to a user named GirlChloe12 and bore striking similarities to Truth Sticks. The page was also supposedly run by a child and monitored by their parent. Bizarrely, they also posted frequently about the dangers of online predators, with the wording of these posts and the editing being essentially the exact same as Truth Sticks, just not as over the top. These two accounts even frequently interacted with each other, thus providing a substantial link on its own. But by far the most compelling link between these pages is one that is easy to miss at a glance, with that being a blatant obsession with high-heeled mini boots. These shoes were mentioned or shown in virtually every single post made by these two users. At playtime, I'm sometimes running around with my really cool heeled footwear I wear with my uniform. After coming home from school, education isn't over for the day once the blue blazer, gray jersey, neat tie, white shirt, tailored close-fit gray trousers, and black heeled mini boots are in the wardrobe. No matter what they discussed, school uniforms and mini boots were always a talking point, which adds confirmation to something that is already becoming apparent. This is fetish content, not too unlike the bizarre accounts in the Pipergate rabbit hole, fetish content centered around children. And what makes the Chloe account so disturbing... Well, that's a video I need to watch. I don't know nothing about the Pipergate world. I need to watch that at some point. ...is that AI was seemingly not used, and rather, the images seemed to be of actual children. What? Despite this disturbing distinction, these two accounts are cut from the same cloth, and all signs point to them being created by the same person. A person who, despite their constant warnings of the dangers of adults pretending to be children online, seems to be doing the exact same thing, yep. as part of some sort of fetish, the extent of which we'll discuss later. But for now, one thing was for certain. These pages were not run by children, or their parents. So, who created them? Well, that brings us to our third and final account shown in that initial post. The main talking point. Smart Schoolboy 9 was much the same as the other two accounts. They warned of online predators, obsessed over high-heeled mini boots and school uniforms, and posed as a child despite clearly not being one. But Smart Schoolboy was different in one key aspect. The person behind the account was pretending to be a child, but they were doing so in a much more apparent manner as they didn't use AI or stolen images of other kids to form their identity. And instead, they used photos of... themselves. Oh! Oh, you are an ugly bastard, aren't you? Oh, you have no good looks about you. Oh, you are fucking weird. Oh, you, you have a... Yeah, there's no good look about you at all. In the images posted on the account, we see what appears to be a fully grown man, dressed in a schoolboy's uniform. His face is painted pure white and has bright red lipstick, and he is, of course, wearing high-heeled mini boots, characteristics that were all utilized across the other accounts, only this time it was done on himself, as he poses as a child pretending to go to school, as well as pretending to go through other life events common for preteens. And the photos aren't even the most disturbing part, as the account consists primarily of videos. School. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Let me know if you like school as well. The videos are all incredibly off-putting. I'd say. Some show him arriving home from school. One, two. Two, four, five, six. Others show him claiming to be on the bus heading towards school. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm on the school bus. And other videos showing him doing whatever this is. With these strange. Curly, what have you gotten me into here? I have no idea how to respond to any of this. 
This is the most bizarre shit I've ever seen. This is the... We have a person, the ugliest human being probably of all time, pretend to be a school... A child going to school. Apparently, this child in his mind can't say more than about four words because he just says school all the time. Fucking weirdo. And now this guy, this person makes the most bizarrest, weirdest, creepiest noises I have ever come across. Sounds and the process of sticking his tongue out appearing to be part of his fetish. As much like the other accounts, his content is overtly sexual in its own bizarre way. In fact, there's a video of him with his full outfit on where he shows himself staring into a mirror as he appears to pleasure himself right out of view of the camera as he stares into his own eyes. This account is by far the most sickening part of this whole rabbit hole yeah. and also the most important. Interspersed throughout his page are a few examples of what this individual's voice sounds like. This is quite good. <laughs> which just so happens to be the same voice heard in the very first clip shown on the Truth Sticks account. A man pretending to be a boy. <laughs> meaning that this full grown adult. Now I hate that voice even more. <laughs> Oh, this is so fucked. Adult man is the one behind this entire rabbit hole. He's the one on these accounts pretending to be a child and their mother, getting some sort of sick satisfaction from whatever this is. And the worst part is, these activities aren't just kept behind closed doors. As we can see on numerous occasions, videos of him walking around outside in a public space with his full outfit and face paint on. Look at me. It's truly one of the strangest things that I've ever seen. I'd say, I'd say, Nick. Holy sh! It's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. And making sense of what this all is is extremely difficult. But based on the information found from this first Reddit post, a few likely conclusions can be put forward. This man is clearly attracted to the idea of being a kid. And I think OP was correct when they speculated that this was some sort of age play thing. But it's also clearly much more than that too. As based on the images that he's created himself, he clearly has some sort of attraction to other children as well. As he's quite literally created faux CP. The likes of which is so disturbing that I can't even really describe it here either. He's creating <coughs> fetish content. And he's using the likeness of children, and also some children that are clearly very real people, to do so. That much is obvious. But there was also the possibility that he was pretending to be a kid in order to exploit other children across the internet. Oh yeah. At this point though, this was... No, 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 I am about dead certain that's what he's doing. I'm about dead certain of it. Merely speculation, with much of the smart schoolboy 9 case remaining a mystery. And the rabbit hole was only getting deeper from here. Months after this rabbit hole was introduced to the online world, the story began to be shared all across the internet, most notably on the r slash internet mysteries subreddit, where the case really took off. There, internet sleuths began uncovering just how vast this web of accounts actually was, as it wasn't just these three pages. No, there seemed to be over a dozen, and likely even more that we still haven't found, as he's created his own sort of community, his own little world, where across each page he pretends to be a child, with these accounts typically following each other and frequently interacting, seemingly to make these characters appear as though they have real friends. On one of these pages, 12 Stockwell Joanne, he poses as a 14-year-old girl, using more AI images to depict explicit positions of this manufactured child, which I obviously am not going to show here. Though much like his Chloe account, he also shows images of very real young girls. But this isn't the most concerning part of this account, as on numerous occasions, he's shown images of children at a playground. Excuse me? Which he may have taken himself. This fantasy of being a schoolgirl and taking part in these school-centric- Okay, this guy needs to be arrested. This guy is a danger. This guy needs to be investigated by actual authorities. Because this guy is- I have already, just by seeing him taking pictures of children at a playground, I'm already concerned for their well. I'm already concerned about this guy. I'm already concerned about him. 
I, I need no I, I need to know he's investigated I need to know that he's been arrested oh god activities is something carried over throughout multiple of his accounts with his most common alias being Stephanie of which he has numerous different accounts featuring that same name yeah I'm Stephanie This Stephanie character claims to be a 12-year-old aspiring poet, with accounts all across the internet, many of which showcasing examples of her poetry, which carries on those same distinct sexual undertones. I race to complete my poems when I've got an early start. Heart racing, mixed rhythms, maximizing miracles, rice with rap, and on the map, my Kennington, London syllables, dancing though I know my underwear might show if I lean forward. Good. Stephanie Stansfield, 12. But digging even deeper, her poetry has even seemingly been featured in various articles and even newspapers, showcasing that this rabbit hole extends far past just the online world. This act is clearly their obsession, and he's been doing this for years, with the earliest examples that I could find coming from all the way back in 2018. And this Stephanie character seems to be his go-to alias, embodying it in even the literal sense. As in one of his many pages dedicated to this Stephanie character, he dresses as her, wearing a wig and a dress, as he pretends to be a 12-year-old girl. Almost immediately after this case began gaining traction, the true magnitude of this rabbit hole was revealed. Across every single account are countless depraved posts and oddities that all could warrant discussion, but by far the most important discoveries were those that didn't actually occur on his own page, and rather, the pages of other actual children. What? Do you like school? I do. It is good. You have some cool shirts, but I have to wear school uniforms to school. It is nice, but casual isn't allowed, and it's quite hot here in the UK, as the month of June suddenly got warmer. These are two examples out of many that show smart schoolboy9 reaching out and attempting to befriend young children online. In one comment, he even warns a child about other comments from bad people, stating that, It happens to most boys in our age group, but stay safe, stay cool, don't be dismayed by creeps. This is our best evidence that these accounts weren't just made for age play. No, he's actually posing as a child in order to make friends with other children. And given his overtly sexual interests and aversion to CP, it's not hard to gather why he was doing this. And these examples are only what we've found so far. It's possible that there are dozens, or who knows, maybe even hundreds of other comments out there, hidden on unknown children's accounts. This is I'm gonna be honest, I'm more curious how they found those. Like, who found those accounts is my curiosity. Predatory behavior. The man behind Schoolboy9 is a predator. And in case there was still any doubt of whether or not this was a sexual thing, Here's what he had to say about being a 13-year-old girl. But have his tactics actually worked? Well, the frightening thing is, no one knows if he's actually been successful or not, or even what specifically he's looking for. We just know that he's trying to reach kids, as evidenced not only by his comments, but by the fact that he's solely following children on all of these pages. And though it's easy to look at these accounts and know that something is off, for children, it's not that simple, especially when there's pages showcasing photos of actual kids. Which brings up another frightening detail. Many of the images he's used of children have not been traced back to their original creator, and some seem to appear for the very first time online publicly on this man's pages, which might mean that he was sent them privately. There's even one image that David posted on his schoolboy account, which shows another kid that he claimed to be on a playdate with though it's impossible to say if this is real or not. For now, we just don't know for sure. Though given the fact that he's reaching out to children, posting fetish content centered around children, and has even potentially photographed kids in the wild, one thing is for certain. Smart Schoolboy 9 needs to be stopped. Yep. Finding this man and reporting him to law enforcement quickly became the top priority for those investigating the case. Good. And luckily, he left several glaring clues behind that made this process a whole lot easier. Oh? On numerous occasions across his many pages, he would post images and videos of specific locations, even showing streets and mentioning very particular areas in his poems, all of which centered around the London area, immediately giving us an idea of where he was located. And that wasn't all. 
I mentioned how the alias of Stephanie was one that he used more so than any other, but what's interesting is that there was another name used just as often across his accounts, brought up time and time again, though it's a name that he never seemed to call any of his characters. Instead, he simply referred to this person as a stepbrother or a father or even a friend from school, despite never actually picturing him, just mentioning his name, David. And sure enough, after connecting a few dots, it would be revealed that this person's actual name was in fact David. David Alter, with a man being 59 years old. Oh, oh, that makes that even more fucked up, man. Oh, this guy needs to be put in jail. I need to know he's in jail. At the moment, it doesn't appear that David has any past criminal convictions or documented history of this behavior. But we do know that thanks to the investigation done on Reddit and Discord, he is currently being investigated by local authorities, which will hopefully put an end to his online behavior Good. and shine some more light on who this person actually is. As for the time being, the only other information that we really know about David is that he likes to write poetry and he makes music. <laughs> I think I hear a running tram going back in time, not out of time. I think I like a little lemon and lime to Mary Ann, her steely dam. I like the sound of that running tram. What well, fairness, he didn't ever say the music was good. That's fucking atrocious. And his name also appears in a random newspaper where he's discussing the importance of kids wearing school uniforms. <laughs> And that's really all we have at the moment. Though there is one very important aspect that we have yet to talk about in relation to this man, with that being David's mental state. Some believe that David is a mentally unwell individual who potentially doesn't know the extent of what they are doing. No, no way, nope, nope. I can feel, I can just tell by the way he's presenting himself, he is fully aware of what he is doing. Now, even if this is the case, his behavior still needs to be stopped, Agreed. and he needs to be given proper help to assure that no one else gets hurt by his actions. Agreed. But it is important to note that David is far more intelligent than he lets on, as his personal accounts show us that he is fairly well-spoken and articulate. And throughout his problematic content, most of his bad grammar and strange verbiage seems to be his attempts at more authentically trying to replicate a child. But it's impossible to know for sure. But what we do know is that David is extremely manipulative. With his response to the situation and other clues littered across his accounts, showing us that he seems to know what he's doing, and he knows that it's wrong. Excuse me? Since the exposure of David's accounts, he hasn't silently slithered away like most other predators would. Instead, he's actually responded on more than a few occasions, lashing out to those who have DM'd him, calling them the perverts and predators. He even left a comment on his Joanne account seemingly directed at himself, writing, you are really sad. And if that's your name, David, be honest with yourself. You're 50, as you said elsewhere. You reply to me, a girl, as if I'm your buddy, no chance ever. This is Okay. Yeah, he's definitely aware of his surroundings. He's definitely aware of what he's doing. He's not set. He's not fucked up. Something David does all the time. It's projection. And it started all the way back at the beginning of this rabbit hole. So, that's the account run by a man pretending to be a boy. <laughs> And he continued posting these predator exposés, along with other warnings about predators on the internet across every page he made, each of which being hyper-specific to his own predatory ways and fetishes. The things he accuses others of are blatant projections of his own dark vices. And I can think of two reasons why. Number one, that this makes his account look safer to other parents and children. It gives the appearance that he's not another internet creep because he's actively calling them out. It's a way to build trust in order to befriend and exploit kids. And number two, he knows what he's doing is wrong. And this is his bizarre way of self-reporting, probably to make himself feel better about what he's doing. And it's obvious based on just how accurate these claims against others are to him. Does he wish he were a young boy in a school classroom looking nice and being successful at school? Yes. And these claims are made over and over again, as each time he calls someone out, he's further exposing himself. Which becomes more concerning when you realize that these projections seemingly aren't strictly pedophilic. Within those eerily familiar expose posts he made on Truth Sticks 11, he mentions how this user not only wanted to exploit children online, but they wanted to 
kill them as well, as he mentions that this user has a clear interest in cannibalizing kids, and even performing ritualistic sacrifices on them. And based on how accurate all of the other exposures are to himself, I have no reason to believe that this isn't part of his MO as well, as crazy as that may sound. It might, it sounds crazy, but he's 50 something years old who clearly is fucked up in the head, so I can't rule it, you can't rule it out. This also seems to coincide with some of the content he's posted that I can't show you, as some of these photos show children edited in contorted positions, including some where he's added what appears to be rope to give the illusion that they're tied up. And what makes this even more disturbing is that on his accounts, he's posted numerous photos in the vicinity of schools, on nearby secluded trails, and even some where he discusses what time school starts and ends, saying that he likes to be awake and ready for it. There's even photos that show other children outside from a distance, almost as if David was stalking them. This is highly concerning. Agreed. Even if we don't know truly how low this man's perversions get, he is still far too close to children, which is perfectly encapsulated by this photo of him on a school playground during the day. And with his disturbing desires, I don't even want to imagine what he's capable of. Which brings us to the final piece of content that I need to talk about. Chasing another boy running in heeled mini boots. This was the text shown on screen during a short video posted onto one of David's many accounts. And in the video, we see the man pointing the camera at himself, showing his full face of white makeup and red lipstick. This video is edited more egregiously than any others I've seen across his page, with multiple explicit images and huge emojis covering the majority of the screen though just barely enough of the footage can be seen that shows David as he turns the camera around, revealing a young boy. <laughs> who he then proceeds to chase after, giggling all the while. Whether this was an edited video or a real occurrence, we don't currently know. David's doings are a mystery that will take some time to unravel, and my hope is that law enforcement will be able to follow through and help shed some more light on this individual, and finally put an end to his twisted behavior. But at this point, only one thing is for sure. The story of Smart Schoolboy 9 is far from over. that do not try to contact David don't do anything stupid look I got some people the, the people watch me who are very much appreciative but also y'all sometimes are kind of crazy the internet's kind of crazy and y'all just the people who might just try to go into business for themselves so don't go messaging this boy this boy this grown ass dude Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this reaction video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.